Hey, welcome back to Smart Home Garage Workshop. It's been a few weeks. It's been hot here. I don't want to be in the garage too hot. And work's been crazy busy. Anyway, so today on the Smart Home Garage Workshop, I'm going to show you how to build this sandpaper holder, which has this really unique curved design, and how I build these brackets, which can be used to build a variety of different kinds of French cleat hanging shelves. In this case, I'm building a shelf that has my router on it, but they have this unique organic design, so they're kind of low profile. So let me show you how I built it and how I use my CNC router. Let's get at it. I first designed the pieces in Fusion 360, and then I imported it into a program called Etzel Cam, which I can then use to build the tool paths. So these are the tool paths for the actual side brackets. And next I moved on to cutting out the parts on my home-built CNC machine. So here I'm actually cutting out the side brackets for the sandpaper station holder. And um, this took over an hour. Um, I'm pretty cautious with my feeds and speeds on here. Next, I moved on to cutting out the shelves. I think these pieces actually look like little slices of bread. Anyway, this went pretty quick, and this is all out of quarter inch plywood. And then I cut out the side brackets that are going to be used for the shelf. I don't have any video of this, because for some reason my camera only recorded a still. Like, I don't know what happened with that. And with the CNC done, this is what all my parts look like. Next, I need to move on to cutting out all the little tabs that hold the parts and, and basically the waste. Uh, the other parts already did that. And once those are basically removed, then I go over it with some sandpaper. And then where needed, I go over it with a chisel just to flatten down any of where those tabs were. Next, using an eighth inch round over bit, I'm just going to go over and clean up all the edges. And this just smooths everything out so there's no splintered edges. I could go do this with sandpaper, but it's just easier to do it with a round over, especially to get inside those, uh, those oval pieces right there. And I do that to all the parts. That's all the shelves, all the brackets. Um, and it just helps clean everything up and give everything a nice, nice even edge. Okay, next we're going to move on to assembly. This goes pretty quick. So really, I'm just going to glue the shelves into place so that these are the, these are the half-inch shelves, and they're going to go into the slots on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to use some aluminum squares just to keep everything nice and straight. And then I'm just going to use a 23-gauge pin nailer to go through and kind of hold everything in place. Once that's done, um, I can pull the clamps right off. Um, the glue is going to dry. The pin nails are, are these are two-inch pin nails, and they're completely strong enough to hold everything in place. Um, go ahead and clean everything up, check for any drips of glue, and then I can start check test fitting the shelves. The shelves, you'll notice, have a little notch in the back, and that just keeps the shelves from pushing all the way through and out the back, so that way the paper doesn't slide out the back of that curved design. And here's a little test bin. You can kind of see the degree of that curve. It looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and hang it on the wall, and you can kind of see what it looks like. So next, I'm going to go through and start putting the paper in. So I'm going to put the bigger grits at the bottom, so 80, uh, 60, 80, 120, 150. I think I got some 200 and maybe some 300 there. And then finally, the sander goes on top. Okay, with the sandpaper station done, next I'm going to move on to building the shelves that use these brackets. And these are kind of universal. Here you can see they, they're really, really strong. They kind of hang on those, and they have back, back support to lean against the wall. Now, you can build these shelves any width you want. So here I go ahead and just put any kind of board in there. So this is just a little one. I think that's about six inches in there between the two brackets, and they're just glue and pin nailed. So here it's hanging on the wall. It's pretty strong. And I can then come over here with something heavy. So in this case, I'm going to bring my router over, which is, you know, it's a few pounds. And it hangs on there completely, completely strong. I don't have any worries about that falling off. So anyway, I built these pretty quickly. Um, obviously, I had to design the files in CNC and cut them out. Um, let me use my uh, homemade CNC for a few more things. And this was all scrap wood I had. I didn't go and buy anything. To the point, if you watch earlier in the video, you probably saw the back edge of something this three quarter or this half inch stock I used was black. That's because I didn't have any half inch stock that would fit. I had to use a piece of three quarter inch stock and I ran it through the planer. So that's why the bottom side kind of looks a little darkish because that's the glue layer. But they fit perfectly and you don't see them. So I don't care. Anyway, um, Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't checked out my Etsy store, please do. You can buy stickers, and I still have my power drill shields up there. I've been selling a lot of those. The, the response has been amazing on those. I think I'm on my 10th or 11th batch of those sold. It's been great. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like my style of videos, go ahead and give me a like or subscribe. Tell a friend. See you next time. Bye.